I live at 33 Terrace Place <laughs> in Tuckahoe, <laughs> and I have my studio there also. I actually started drawing as a child, and uh, it seemed like uh, a really good way to express myself. Um, somehow I had uh, trouble speaking. If somebody was really listening, I would sort of like lose my thought. So drawing seemed to really supplement that and uh, it really became the basis of what my art was about. As I uh, grew up and learned to uh, use different mediums in my art, drawing was always the basis of that. First time we took a vacation, we went to um, Cape Cod, and uh, there was this man drawing portraits of people, and uh, he sort of realized my interest so he said, you know, why don't you sit and draw the people that I'm drawing? Well, uh, basically it's memories, things that um, you know, touch you at one time or another. That was a little later on, I became her assistant, and uh, that was really a wonderful experience. Not only working with her, uh, she was such a powerful person, um, powerful personality, and really focused on her work. Um, and by the time we met, she was a little older, she was in her late 70s, so she would work on the small pieces and I would work on all the large ones. And essentially I put a studio together for her. Everything influences my art, our conversation. Um, and that's certainly that period did. Um, she was uh, a wonderful person, um, kind of hard to get to know, but when we did, we really became friends, and uh, I can thank her for uh, teaching me about her drawing. Um, her work sort of had an overallness to it because it was all matte black, mm -hmm. and I finally realized what she was doing was she was essentially uh, drawing in shadow. Nothing in the pieces were more important than anything else, and all of a sudden you'd have this narrative very much like a, a, a Renaissance painting. Mm -hmm. And speaking of Renaissance paintings, uh, one of my first influence, influences was the uh, Renaissance artist Giotto. He uh, essentially was the bridge between uh, archaic art and the Renaissance. His was the first art that uh, really spoke to people. Um, it had a naturalism, it had a perspective, it had almost a Scorpio-like sense of body movement with the way he used hands and eyes to direct the picture. When I first met my wife, that's like 30 years ago. Uh, we lived in Taos, New Mexico, and uh, one day I was uh, driving through this area and I came upon um, essentially a swamp. Um, full of cattails and full of um, blackbird, uh, red-winged blackbirds. And um, that sort of left a memory in my head that uh, I could remember every detail of it right now. And um, uh, several months ago, I guess it was the end of the winter, um, uh, just around twilight, I came across a tree that was full of birds no leaves or anything and it had that same kind of energy and uh, it sort of inspired that memory and that picture um, and uh, I'm really excited about that picture in particular because it's the beginning of a new series of work that I started on. Yes, in fact I brought her there, <laughs> you know, it was such an exciting spot. Um, um, so it's, it's that kind of thing that uh, seems to spark um, it's the memories a work. That
I go back and forth between painting and sculpture and collage. So uh, I work every day. <laughs>